Okay, so I teased earlier this week, I already picked up my first sneaker for 2022 on eBay because eBay is bae, but now looking back, one of the Jordans I was actually interested in picking up is now kind of irrelevant based on this purchase. I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see. Yeah. These days I don't worry about much. I think we should have some more fun. I still dream about the days when we were young. I'll take a hit and What's going on everybody? It's your girl TJ back with another video talks with TJ, aka TJ2 Swoosh T Yeezy, MA2 TJ T Essentials. We'll have an Essentials video literally tomorrow, but or at least tomorrow, barring no uh delays in terms of shipping. But uh today, yeah, let's just I guess let's just let the cat out of the bag. Uh the sneaker I picked up, my very first purchase of 2022, had nothing to do with 2022 itself, but 2017, and that's right, we're talking about the Air Jordan 1 High Royal. And it just felt right that I have the patent bread now. So to be able to go back and get the Royal was amazing. Now again, eBay find. And when I say like very near dead stock, it might as well just be called dead stock. And for the price that I paid is it's less than StockX, which is great. So it got shipped off immediately to be authenticated. I really hope to have that in next week along with my new Clay Thompson jersey. I really hope that ships or arrives so that you guys can see those paired together. But yeah, because I now will own the Air Jordan 1 uh, Royal from 2017, I don't know that I need the dark marina, you know, blue. Like the marina blue, I don't know that I need that. And of course, that has a release date um, a little later on of February. Uh, so now it's like, okay, do I, now that I don't need that, does that open, does that open the gates for anything else? But we already went over, uh, with the Jordan ones, what I'm interested in and not. And that was one of the main ones outside of like Georgetown and then the yellow toe. And those are farther along into the year. So, I mean, Hey, this the, here, here was my thought process, right? Because there are some clothes and some other things on my mind to pick up for this month. Uh, some are small businesses and I just kind of want to support them having found out about them. But then also it's really difficult for you to find like a great condition pair of a sneaker that is like a past release, not current. And it's at a decent price. Like if you find that, especially when you're a six and a half to a seven in a Jordan one, you have to take that. And the, you know, the reality is it'll be much easier for me to get my hands on a dark Marina one. Cause those will be all over the internet as soon as they drop, especially if people get pairs in hand and they don't want them versus this Royal that, that wouldn't be the case. So, I said, hey, I technically, so they had them listed for 220. I best offered 200. They countered with 210. I'm like, hey, $10 difference is not going to break the chance of me <laughs> being able to own these. So willing to pay more for resale. Uh, I think this year when it comes to specific finds or gems versus paying resale for pair or paying retail for pairs that I'm not 1000% in love with. And that's kind of another question, I guess, you know, or a question I have for you guys, because I see this being said on the internet. So I am curious just with you guys here, do you have, you know, sneaker fatigue from 2021? I know a lot of people are saying that, but I think behavior will really tell the true story. Like if people, people can say like, yeah, I'm fatigued. So many shoes came out. I purchased so many. I didn't wear them. I get it. A lot of us work from home now, pandemic. It's crazy. But in terms of you really not going for stuff, is that going to, is, will that hold true once a lot of sneakers actually start dropping and you see the gottoms and you really want something still. So maybe if you took an L, you go after a constellation sneaker. I am, I'm just interested in that. Like one, do you guys have a kind of pickup for fatigue from 2021? And then two, are you really being more more conscientious of what you're buying in 2022. So uh, just make sure you sound off below for that. I fully support you if you are. Uh, for me, again, I gave a rundown of Jordans that are just not on my radar for this year, but this month, what is still, what's still on my radar, the Adidas 84, the Form 84 High, the UNC, and then of course, like the multicolor. I really want the UNC. It says Adidas should have them. 
So hopefully it's as simple as trying to get the uh, the Home Alone form. Now I was able to pick that up off Hibbit, so I'll probably end up checking Hibbit. I'll probably check Adidas to see who has the 84 uh, UNC form. I just really hope that I don't have to go through a whole lot to be able to get it. Uh, because listen, when it comes to that really high cut, I like that. And when you're thinking of those cuts, right? Trying to get a Jordan 85, way more difficult than picking up a Forum 84, especially in that high cut. So I'm hoping to get my hands on the UNC pair. I would love the multicolor pair as well. But if I had to only pick one, uh, just go ahead and give me the UNC pair. The multicolor pair is awesome. Like it's perfect for fall and for winter. I might as well just say winter. I feel like we're in winter now, but it looks perfect for winter based on the tones and the materials they've integrated into it. But I don't know. There's just something about that, that, that UNC vibe. And it's a really subtle laid back. It's not bright bold in your face I should say like an actual UNC1 or UNC4 and maybe that's what I like a lot it also has that aged vintage look I know people are tired of that look I'm not so uh if you're not tired of that look and you are a fan of a UNC colorway that's releasing so I'm really hoping that I can get my hands on that this weekend it's set to drop on the 15th so I'll follow up with you guys maybe on the community tab if I'm able to pick this up but yeah I have the Air Jordan 1 high royal on the way if you guys recall I secured the low as well that was like one of my 2021 pickups I was able to secure the low it was still in really good condition just needed a little cleanup these need zero cleanup so that's why I'm very excited as well about it so go ahead and sound off in the comments what's your first sneaker purchase of 2022 if you've made one if you haven't made one what's the sneaker purchase you're going after first and i feel like i need to say what are you attempting to purchase what are you attempting to cop because i see so many times people are like yeah that's my first cop for 2022 or that's the first one i'm picking up and i'm like you mean trying to pick up like the only guaranteed w's a lot of times is if you choose to go to StockX or goat or ebay and purchase from a buyer that already has or a seller that already has it there Outside of that, like what's guaranteed of a brand new release, right? That's coming out, especially if you are having to rely on sneakers app. So just my thoughts there. Um, if you like what you see and you're not subscribed, go ahead, hit the subscribe. I really appreciate it. And as always, act your age, not your shoe size. Peace.